this footage was taken during a German unit's advance on a village just after it had come under fire from snipers. I'd seen parts of this raw footage in different newsreel scenes, but never all of it together. This is part four in a series that uses sensational raw footage from a German film crew that was produced in mid-September of 1941. The material being processed for use in Deutsche Wochenschau newsreels had at this stage in the production cycle not yet received the recorded voiceover and more importantly had not yet been censored. Much of the material will be completely new, but if you know your stuff, you'll recognize some of the clips and might even know which newsreel it was shown in. For much of the footage, the audio is so good that I won't be saying anything to allow you to experience it raw. Turn up the volume, it's like being there. At the end of the video, we'll see part of the released newsreel with subtitles, so stick around. It's worth it. These scenes are incredible. Watch it twice as you pay attention to the detail of what's going on. You won't find it in a normal Wochenschau. In an earlier production, I showed the burning of this village from a different source, and multiple viewers insisted that it was done by retreating Soviet forces. Seeing this full sequence, I'd like to think that this question is now resolved, but I know better. In the summer of 1941, Stalin had, of course, ordered a policy of scorched earth in the Ukraine. In cases of forced retreat, he ordered that all rolling stock must be evacuated. The enemy must not be left a single engine, a single railway car, not a single pound of grain or gallon of fuel. of course the civilian population that suffered most from this destruction. In this specific case the damage was done and filmed by the Wehrmacht.
These last scenes are well known and come from the Deutsche Wochenschau number 578, which was released on October 1st, 1941, just after the fall of Kiev. The first Wochenschau newsreel covering the war against the Soviet Union was number 564, which was released on June 25th, three days after Barbarossa began. The series would continue up through number 755, which came out around March 22nd of 1945. website military1945.com, you can download a free PDF containing descriptions of all the content in the Wochenschau newsreels. Open a free account and look for it in the example footage section. There you'll also find a link to the most complete set of Deutsche Wolkenschau downloads out on the market. The quality is great and purchases support the development of productions for this channel. And now, here's a clip from the Volkenschau that some of this material can be found in. Black Batterie in der Waffen SS nehmen die Bolschewiken unter Feuer. geht es ungestüm weiter nach Süden. Nur wenige Stunden noch und die Vereinigung mit der Panzerarmee von Kleist ist vollzogen. 200 Kilometer ostwärts von Kiew. Der große Augenblick ist da. Der Ring um die Sowjets ist geschlossen. Neben dem K der Panzergruppe von Kleist, das G der Panzergruppe Guderian. Generaloberst Guderian. Allen Seiten stoßen die deutschen Verbände in den Kessel vor. Use the QR code or this link to get to our Patreon page and see our different levels of support to get access to exclusive footage that can't be shown here. Open a free account on our website military1945.com. If you like this kind of material, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.